Hello thinkers, in this video, my human will show you how to use a button with an ESP32, but first, don't forget to like and subscribe to support us. All you need is an ESP32 board, a button, and a breadboard. The button acts like a simple switch. When you push it, it connects two pins under the button, allowing current to flow through and triggering an action on your ESP32. Connect one pin of the button to pin 26 on the ESP32, and the other pin to ground, just like my human is doing. Now open your Arduino IDE and let's take a look at our simple code. We define pin 26 for the button. We set the baud rate to 115,200, which controls how fast the ESP32 communicates with a computer. We set the pin mode to be input pullout. This mode saves us from needing an external resistor when the button isn't pressed, the pin reads high, and when the button is pressed, it connects to ground, so the pin reads low. In the loop, we continuously check the button state using the digital read function and print the result using the serial print function. You now have to connect your device and upload the code. Once you've uploaded the code, you need to open the serial monitor from the tools menu. The serial monitor will show 1 when the button is not pressed and 0 when it is. The serial plotter visually displays the data over time. When you open it from the tools menu, it plots the button state's trajectory in real time. It's perfect for quickly debugging and analyzing data. If you found this video useful, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe for more ESP32 tips and tutorials. And be sure to check out our other projects on the channel. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.